Jose, another pro team. Katusha, what a good team. Good blokes all around. Nathan Haas just ahead of me with the lights. And that's uh, Mashado on the left. Uh, Matt Smith, I think, is just about to go up the road. He did a solid interval on this. And uh, all together, it was a great, great day out with the Katusha lads. We spent about two and, two and a half hours with them. Or two hours, I think, maybe two and a half hours, something like that. And I'd already done a couple hours before. Uh, but yeah, a solid ride with the guys. Um, they were taking it pretty easy, just looking looking at some of the stage the stage finish. Um, so in the actual race, they come on the left, um, just up here. And then they go basically go all the way down to a ridelet. Uh, so I've got all of that on GoPro and I've got some good footage coming up. So over the next couple of days with Katusha, um, so keep keep looking, sorry, keep looking at the channel and we'll see some good rides. As so you can hear, see here, people are like, how do you keep up with the pros, Charlie? Like, aren't they really fast? Like my friends are like, oh, they must be, you must be like super fit. It's like, to be honest, mate, you don't need very much power. Like, okay, fine, I'm, I'm quite light, so I'm 60. So, you know, obviously there's power data you're 80, you'd be needing to do a couple more watts, but drafting up like a 5 6% climb like Norton's, it's just not really very hard, like, it's quite easy, There was there's Harley to the left of me, uh, and there's Dan, another vegan, behind me, and, you know, it's just it's just quite chill, to be honest, a lot of what they're doing is just looking at the race, recon, just warming up, they're all, they're, they're all doing different things though, I think, if they want to do an interval like Matt Schmidt did, they'll do it, like, they, they're sort of like, wandering... Not wondering, but they're just sort of figuring out what they need to do in order to be fit. Some of these guys, I think Nathan Haas, he was talking a lot, telling the guys what's going on, how they should ride it, where, what they should do in the race. He was he was talking a lot, actually, um, which is good to see. Um, and he, I think he's definitely in good shape. Uh, but some of the other riders, maybe, they're, they're just not really into this race that much. They'll, they'll be, they're here for the domestique role, and they're not in super great condition, so they're just happy to just roll along and not, not try too hard. Uh, so I think the training here obviously is not representative necessarily of all their training, but a lot of their training is zone two, uh, just endurance at the moment. So you can see Harley on the left filming. Um, they're very comfortable. That's one thing, like look at that guy. I mean, it's just, his bike it stays completely still. They're just so comfortable on the bike. They've got pretty uh, aggressive positions, but they don't really see, it doesn't really seem like that they're uncomfortable at all. What bikes are they running? That's always the question people ask. Um, this guy on the left is the Ultimate CF SLX. Um, most of them, I think two were riding the SLX. That's Mashado, no, Kachekov was, and Mashado, I think, was. And all the others had a, the Air Road. None of them were running discs, which is weird, because Canyon quite like discs, and they've got, they've got a lot of disc brake bikes out, but I think it's more just discs bringing them all to... Um, bring all the wheels that you need because you don't all have to go discs or all have to go rim brakes because you can't really bring different wheels all the way to Australia. It's quite a lot of effort. So I think it's just easier on rim brakes, to be honest. And these guys, they're, they're very good on the downhill. They don't really need discs. I mean, the wet probably helps, but I think for them, what they have to say on camera about discs is different to actually what they feel, I think. Um, so you can see the different size of the legs. Kachekov's legs look a lot bigger on this than in real life. He is, he's quite skinny, to be honest. He's a quite skinny guy. Probably 70, 75 kilos. Nathan Haas had big legs, actually. So the guy in the fleshing light, he um, he does have big legs, definitely. Um, he's more of their sprinter. And most of the other guys, Matt, Matt Schmidt had decent, decently sized legs. But a lot of them, like, are not super ripped this year, this uh, this time of the year. So you can see on the left, like, Kachekov's comfortable... Like he's he's not super lean. He's definitely like leaner than me or whatever, but he's not he's not crazily lean. Um, just because there's no need. It was weird. Kachekov's from Russia, so I thought he might he might not be used to the heat or something. But he um he was wearing arm warmers, which is weird. But maybe I guess it was, it was a little chilly. It was probably eighteen degrees or something. So it's not surprising that he did he did wear arm warmers. So that's just pointing out a little a little stick. Um, so you can see Harley in front of me. Harley's legs, he's, I don't think he's lean as he has been, um, but you can see he's he's pretty similar leanness to some of the other, these other riders. Um, you can see cadence, everyone's spinning really, a couple of people out the saddle just to, you know, like, relieve the pressure on the, on the saddle area, or whatever, but everyone's pretty, pretty chilled up this. Like, this power for them is like zone one, so there's no effort for them at all. They're probably doing a bit more power on the front, maybe more like 250, 300, maybe, they're slightly heavier riders just because they're um because there's quite a strong headwind now well there was on on Norton Summit this day um, and because it's sort of a draft assisted assisted climb I'll get my words up uh, they're probably doing a bit more power 
but again, it's it's nothing crazy. Like a lot of what they're doing is just just very chilled, very relaxed. Um, they all have Wahoo bolts. Um, that's their new their new cycling computer, um, which you know I think I I have one myself. I quite like I quite like them. I rate them. Mm, they seem decent enough. What do you think of their new kit? I I quite like the blue actually. I think the blue looks good with them. Blue and red. Their bikes look look nice as well. I think generally Katusha. They look like a really solid team. Uh, they look like a very, a very marketable team. Like they, they look very professional in what they do. Um, I think their color matching is good. Their zips, I think their bike is probably one of the nicest. The canyons with the zips, I, I, I do rate that quite a lot to be honest. Um, would quite like one of those maybe someday, uh, but I'm happy with the bike I've got at the moment. They're all, they're all pretty comfortable at this pace. They're all just talking away. Um, just, I don't know, if you have any questions about, about what they do, uh, I, they definitely piss a lot, that's one thing, like, we maybe did half an hour, 40 minutes, something, something like that, and they all stopped and pissed, like, like, they were fully hydrated, which is quite different to an amateur, because in an amateur situation, often you don't want to drink too much, because you need to refill with their water, but they don't care about that, because they've got a team car, so they'll just drink as much as they need to drink, and you'll just see every time it sort of flattens off, every time they're not going downhill, they'll just they'll just start drinking. And as soon as one of them drinks, they'll all drink because they're like, yeah, yeah just stay hydrated. They didn't seem to eat too much food uh, this ride, actually. I think they probably had some energy drink or something in their, in their bottles. But I think generally they don't eat too much on these really low intensity rides just because it's, it's just quite easy, to be honest. If they're doing some intensity, they'd probably eat a bit more because they'd just be burning more calories or whatever. But... Generally, it's 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 easy wattage for them. It's easy wattage. So, uh, what do you think of Northern Summer? I quite like the climb. It's pretty easy. I wouldn't. It's not a great climb to compare people on because it's it's quite a flat climb. Uh, a lot depends on the draft and the wind, but it's a good climb to get your teeth into because you can't really fail to be honest because it's it's a five percent. I think almost anyone can get up it. Uh, so yeah, I, I do enjoy doing it. I probably probably the climb I've done most just because I'm literally living right next door to it. Uh, so you might as well. And most of the pro teams, they like to come up here as well, just scout it out. I think it's probably the most famous climb in Adelaide, I'd say, mainly because of Harley, but also just because it's it's a really casual casual climb. And normally, like, they're not doing it at the moment, but normally they spend about five, ten minutes on the front, and then they'll just swap off and uh, go to the back. I think, obviously, the power data isn't, like, 100% representative of what they're doing because they're, they're doing a couple more efforts on the front or whatever. Um, but when we're just chilling out back, I mean, it's 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 very casual. Um, like sometimes they do efforts. Like in another video, I'll show you. They they did some sprint training, and I was on the back of that. Well, not sprint training, more like sort of race, sort of race pace stuff. But again, it, it wasn't that hard to follow, and I I don't think it was full gas. It was probably more like tempo. But they were like simulating maybe making a last ditch attack or something. But they were all they were such a good draft that it wasn't too hard to follow. On the downhills, they're pretty confident on the downhills, to be honest. I'm going to make a video about that, about me descending with them. I felt I felt pretty calm descending with them. They're very, they're very calm, pe like, when they descend. There's no, like, sun breaking or anything. Like, they break quite late and sudden, I guess. But there's no, like, crazy breaking, like, out of nowhere. And they're just very confident on the bike. They're very comfortable on the bike. And they don't do weird jerking or there's no unpredictable motions. Uh, which is, makes it really nice to ride with them because you feel so confident like going straight behind them. Uh, we were sort of getting in some shots. They said they said it a bit. Nathan has to realize he was like, "Do you mind just like dropping back when there's a camera or whatever? We don't mind you riding with us." And I thought, I thought he's such a good bloke to be honest. Like he, he could have been like, "Hey guys, like we're trying to take pictures. Do you mind just pissing off or whatever?" And um, that would have been quite harsh. But instead, he's like, "No, no, don't, no worries. Like cheers for the instructions or whatever." But when there's a when there's a photo. When they've stopped like a team car or whatever, just just drop back and then we can take some photos without you, um, which is just really nice. I mean, there's not many not many sports in the world where you can ride with the best in the world. I mean, some of these riders are, are incredibly fit, probably top top hundred. I mean, the World Tour has five hundred cyclists, six hundred cyclists, so they're the top six hundred to hundred percent guaranteed. And some of these guys are sort of the top maybe top hundred in uh, what they do. I mean, it, I don't think I could if I turn up to a Chelsea training session or a Real Madrid training session for football and tried to play with like Ronaldo or Messi or Hazard or someone like that, I, I don't think they'd let me. Um, but here they're all, they're all happy, they don't mind. Um, as, long as, you can, as long as you're not going to cause them to crash and you can keep up, they don't mind at all. And I think 
most people can keep up. I think they must think it's a bit weird why there's all these vegans all all around the whole time who um who have seem to do nothing else but just ride with the pros because like Sky had there were like four or five vegans who went with Sky. There were, we went with two. Sure, I know a couple other people went with some different teams. So they must be uh must think it's quite funny. Um, some of them knew Harley actually. Mad Schmidt was um talking to Harley about uh, a Danish. Apparently in Den- Denmark he's quite big and uh, Valgren was talking talking about him in their group or something. Uh, but yeah, that was quite cool to see. Uh, they're taking the vegan message. But they're um yeah, they they are pretty pretty casual at this pace. It's, it's nice riding with them. You just pick up little small things like the cadence they're in, like what what they do around corners, how confident they are, like when do they pedal, when do they not pedal. Just like they try and save as much energy as possible, so it's really good like just learning from that, just lo- watching when they stop, like, what do they want, do they want food, do they want water, they're always, like, making sure everything's perfect, like, the saddle height's not exactly right, sometimes they'll change it by a couple mil, their shoes are feeling a bit bad, I think the other day, Emery Mass changed his shoes, because he just didn't, he didn't really like the new ones, they're, like, really colourful ones, uh, he just changed them, so it's just, like, they focus on very small details, because that adds up in cycling, and that if you if you don't care about the smaller details, then um, you're probably not going to do well in cycling. Um, so I'm I don't think I'm going to show the whole video footage just because of Norton Summit because it's it's basically just this the whole time. Um, we do a pretty casual pace, it gets up to like I think we did 18 minutes or something. Uh, but I'm st- the pro teams are still here in Adelaide for a, a quite a long time. So if you want me to ride with any teams, if you want me to talk to any riders, just let me know and I I'll try and do that. Um, it's quite easy to do. Um, just pick which team you want to ride with. Um, so cheers for watching. Uh, we'll just come to the end of this thing. I think round the hairpin or something is where I stop it. Um, so cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next vid.